In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can easily make a realistic elevator that works exactly like this. Once you're inside of Roblox Studio, you can head over to a place of your choice. So just for today's case, I'm going to head over to Baseplate. And then once you're inside of Studio, it's going to be time to download this elevator. So first you need to head over to the link in the description. It will take you to a page like this. Once again, I didn't make this model, so all credit goes out to Luxure who created this. Then you're going to click on Get Model, and then it's going to be ready for use inside of your game. Then once you're inside of Studio, you're going to head over to Toolbox. You can do that by clicking on Toolbox. Then you're going to head over to Inventory, then My Models, and then search for Luxure. There it is, it should be the first one. And then you can click on that and click Open, and it will insert all of these models into your game. Now that we've done that, I'm going to show you a bit about the models and everything that's here. So as you can see, we get four different elevators by default and all of these handy accessories on the side. So what I'm going to do is you can use these elevators as many times as you want and use as many combos as you want, but I'm just going to use these two here for an example. Then I'm going to press Ctrl U to ungroup it. Then I'm going to delete the README and the preview camera. And then we're going to drag these around. And as you can see, we do have these little accessories. Those two barriers, I think those are just for role playing. They don't have any use. But the triangle key can actually be used to do a lot of customization stuff. So that's important. And then I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to keep the triangle key. And now it's time to move on to the next part of this tutorial. Okay, so this section tells you everything that you need to know about the triangle key. So the triangle key is a little key. <laughs> uh, kind of obvious in the name, and it tells you all of the information about the Roblox elevator from inside of the game. And basically, inside of our elevator, you should see we have this cabinet, and we can move this cabinet wherever we want. I'm just going to move it down to the ground floor here, and this cabinet and this cabinet can be opened by our key. And I'm just going to move a wedge down here so we can get up there a bit easier. And this key allows us to open this panel and gives us all of this useful information and in fact commands and other utilities we can use it for. So it's kind of the everything key. For now, I'm just going to put it inside of starter pack if I can find it. Oh, yep, there it is. And there you go. And then we're going to head into the game and I'm going to show you everything about the triangle key. Okay, so here we are inside of the game. Then let's move over to our elevator. And as you can see, here is our cabinet and we have our doors. So obviously the triangle key can open the door anywhere on the elevator shaft. Keep in mind when the doors are open, the elevator isn't able to move up or down or anything like that. There's also a working emergency stop button in here in case you ever get stuck. Then we can close that again. And on the left, we have the cabinet. Once again, the elevator works. Yep, it works just as it should be. Okay, that's great, that's fantastic. And then, yep, okay, the elevator works good. And if we just send the elevator up here, you can also see those doors won't automatically close on a person. If we go over to our triangle key and scan, oops, I accidentally opened the doors, and you can see, yep, when the doors open, the elevator does stop. So if I close it again, the elevator should resume its journey, I hope. Yep, there it goes. Um, you can see here is our control panel, and it has all of the features. So it has a manual control panel up there, a uh, switch, which is there, and then a control panel, which is right there. Okay, so I'm just going to make it night. Yep, so, okay, it does glow, as you can see. And let's say, for example, it's the end of the day and you're closing. You can press the circuit breaker, and it'll actually turn the entire elevator completely off. Then if we switch it back on, you can see that the elevator is going to open. Then let's make it back day again. So the next thing I want to talk about is the onboard computer. The onboard computer has a ton of uh, fantastic features. So uh, it has the menu, the uh, other buttons, the up and down. And let's say we manually call the elevator to door. So let's click that. We can call the elevator using the commands. If we head back to the menu, we could head over to another panel. And then we can have a look through here. We can manually do this type of stuff. We can look through statistics. It's really just a handy onboard computer and it is quite simple to use. Okay, and finally, I want to show you the manual thing. So here we have our manual control box. We can turn the elevator into inspection mode by turning the inspection mode knob. And if we click on that, 
you can see that it says uh, the lift is under inspection and obviously you can't use the elevator and it says that on all the floors. So if you were doing an examination, that would be good. You have your emergency button and obviously you have these up and down buttons and you can manually control the elevator with that, which I think is pretty handy. Then we're going to head back to normal mode. Keep in mind you need inspection mode on to be able to use those buttons. And as you can see, we could also emergency stop the thing. And then we can also close the cabinet with our key. Oh, come on, I can get it. There we go. And as you can see, the elevator is now done. Now, finally, I'm going to show you on the few things we can customize inside of Roblox Studio. Okay, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio. And I'm going to be showing you everything you can customize from in here. So first of all, we have these custom floor script, which... Honestly, I wouldn't really recommend changing it. You can change the names of stuff, but once again, I wouldn't really play around with that, so I'm just going to ignore that for now. Most importantly, though, we have our configuration script. So inside of our configuration script, we have a ton of things we can change. So first of all, we have the reopen limit. So this is how many times the door will reopen, for example, if someone was blocking it. Then we have the door move time, how long it'll take for the doors to move. Once again, I don't really recommend changing these fields. Then we have the door sensors, which will obviously detect if something's blocking it. Then the bumper, so if something were to bump into it, it'd reopen. How many times the, or how many seconds the door stays open for. And then all of this stuff I'd honestly script uh, skip over. Then you have your motor. So you have your inspection speed, which is two studs a second. Then you have your minimum speed. Your max speed, you could honestly play around with that if you wanted a faster elevator, but I haven't tried doing that before. Then you have your acceleration, your braking, C-frame, I'll keep on true, your max force, doesn't matter, all over that stuff. Uh, honestly, you should keep that on intelligent and not legacy. You have your click detectors, I also recommend keeping that off. Then you have your cool cancel, eh, you should probably keep that on just in case people make mistakes. All of this color, I still wouldn't change, there's really not much you can change in here. And then obviously, if you wanted, for example, you could have custom lift music, which can always be a nifty touch. And then from here, I wouldn't worry about that because that's all stuff we don't want to play around and break. And finally, I'm going to be showing you on how we can install extra floors on our elevator. So once we're all done in this script, we're going to close out of here. And as you can see, here is our elevator and here's our shaft, okay? So each floor has a part so let's just click on this part to get the height of each floor if i remember correctly we have to open this part and it should be 14.5 studs so let's look at size yeah it is 14.5 so i want you to head over to model then head over to move and set this to 14.15 then what we're going to do is we're going to get the motor so that's the thing at the top and we're going to drag it up just like this there you go and then we're going to click on floor 3, we're going to press Control D and we're going to drag it up. And then finally we're going to rename this floor, floor 4. And there you go, that was that easy to add 4 floors. And yep, there's one more thing I'm missing, so let's head inside of our cab. Then hold Alt and try to get the position while you're clicking the button, just like that. And then we're going to duplicate that model. Um, oops, so let's just turn off that move. And we're going to just rename this button to be called 4. Alright, perfect. And now if we head into our game, we should have a four floor elevator. So let's see if this works. Okay, play. Okay, and then wait for it to all load. Close my plugins, hop on in. And then we click on the button. The elevator is going to come down, hopefully. Yep, the motor's still working. Okay, that's great. And then we're going to head inside of our cab to our elevator. We're going to click on four. Okay, and here we go. One second, the doors are going to shut, oh, yep, and also, if you ever block the door, it's going to turn yellow, just like that, and then, for example, if it were to um, close again, and then somebody were to go in the way, it would also close, so here we go, and I were to block it, it's going to reopen the doors, and then we're just going to close this, and hopefully our, four, our floor four, oh, that's a bit of a tongue twister, will work properly, okay, so we're going to head all the way up here, okay, we're getting there, for floor, okay. And here we are. And now if we jump off, yep, it works. Okay, and that's all great. So if you have any problems with this uh, tutorial, feel free to ask us on our Discord server. If you also have a cool suggestion you have for us, also you can tell us on our Discord server. And I hope this video helped you. That's all from me, and bye-bye.